All right, we are back at part 13. We're getting there. Uh, it's been five hours the last part. I uh, took a break to get some uh, some dinner. Dinner was great. Uh, I'll talk about that in a bit. I waited a little bit, just like watched a little bit of TV to like settle my stomach. Uh, went and lied down for a second. Accidentally took a nap, which I uh, I really really don't like taking naps. Um, for multiple reasons, uh, but the the biggest one is that I'm a really bad sleeper. So, but like for regular sleep, like I'm really bad at sleeping for like the night. Naps though, oh man, I could I could take a nap anytime you want. I'm a pro napper, and that's why my power is too great when I nap. I can't do it. Um, the problem becomes that uh, I'll nap, and then whatever I, I nap it will basically s extend the amount of time I'll be awake by by that much. I know this sounds weird, but let's say, uh, let's use today as an example. So I napped at around like 7, and then I woke up at like 8.30. Um, that's going to add an hour and a half to how late I go to bed tonight. So if I was going to go to bed at like 2, which is like the latest I usually do, now I'll go to bed at like 3.30 or 4, uh, which is bad. You don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so there's that, and then there's also the fact that my body will immediately adjust to naps uh, and try and crave them every day. So because I nap today, tomorrow around like 7 p.m., my body is even like, oh, something hit the old dusty trail. And, uh, and I have to be like, no, idiot, it's 7 p.m. We're not going to fucking bed. Stop it. Um, so it's just a bad time. And on top of that, I had a nightmare. A very, very vivid nightmare. Uh, so that's that sucked. Would not recommend. I'm going to be speaking with the manager. But uh, let's get the Winged Dragon for off Phoenix Bud. Uh, what does the matter, Nick? It, impossible. You obtained the secret of the Phoenix Bun? Yeah, it turns out it was the password machine the whole time. I must see Master Merrick right away. I was going to say see you, Yugi, I guess. Nick, you finally seceded. Well, no, I'm still part of the country. Uh, you have obtained the, mo the secret behind the Phoenix Bun. Master Merrick. Yes, I know, Odian. I'm going to awaken Nyx the Winged Dragon of Ra so that he can use the Phoenix Mode. I'll need to see the Winged Dragon of Ra. Awaken! Phoenix Mode! Oh, is that all I had to do? Just say Awaken Phoenix Mode? <laughs> Neat. Ooh, it has its own animation, too. Phoenix, be calm. Your enemy is the one who weakened the Egyptian God cards. With Nick, you must smite that enemy. A terrifying power. Power. Receive the Winged Dragon of Ra Phoenix Mode. Deck adjustment menu will be opened. Alright, so what does this one do? Alright, different picture. Uh, I actually don't think that's the official art for Phoenix Mode. That's that's uh, game specific. That's pretty cool. Uh, a creature that can wipe out all enemy monsters at 1,000 life point cost. It can be returned from the graveyard in battle mode. Oh. A creature that can wipe out all enemy monsters at 1,000 life point cost. So basically, when you summon it, you can then... Oh, it's a, tyro, it's a pyro monster, by the way. Uh, when you summon it, you can pay a thousand life points, and then it'll destroy all monsters in the field. And if it goes to the graveyard for some reason, it can be returned in its normal form in battle mode. Seems pretty good. Uh, yep. I'll add that back in. Is this deck okay? Yes. Wing Dragon of Ra is fully awakened. What you do with this power is up to you, Nick. All right, see ya. So, uh, Yugi, what do you want to do? Should we, uh, should get some coffee? Like, just hang out a little bit? Oh, right, Joey. Eh, you know, it's Joey. It's Wheeler! Can't go on the train anymore. Disaster. Take this train if you want to go to Egypt Exhibition. Take this train. Okay, he won't. Let me duel him anymore. I'm going to try and do another sweep around. Just duel everyone. See if they're allowed. You go, Wheelers. Wheelers are finally gone. Sorry, I don't have time for funny games. Okay, well, then you're miserable. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that you're a bad person. Wishing for a, for a speedy recovery for you. I'll show you how good I am at drawing the right cards at the right time. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, that is the game. Okay, this is a pretty strong opening hand. I'm gonna try and summon Jinzo next turn, and then uh, I'm gonna say get rid of any trap cards you might have, but that didn't really come up, so <clears throat> maybe I won't use Jinzo yet. <clears throat> 
Ironically, I, uh, I took the nap, or I didn't record again in the first place, because usually after I eat, especially if it's, like, heavy foods, um, I, uh, I have to clear my throat a lot. I don't know why. It's probably acid reflux. I don't really know what the name of it is, but... Ooh, okay. We'll try this out. Um, yeah, I don't really know why it, my body does that. I'm not particularly thrilled by it, but... That do be how it is. Um... Which kind of sucks. Um, not not my favorite, but uh, it's just a lot of like <clears throat> that I have to do for a while after. But usually, if I wait like two hours, it's probably fine. I basically operate. I record basically with the same rules that most people uh, swim with, which is uh, only like certain amount of time after eating. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Oh wow, it even affects them with their face down. That's interesting. Hey, I wonder if I can find that art of Phoenix mode. Might have to use the normal art just because, like, this doesn't exist. I couldn't draw the cards I needed. You're a, you're a terrible uh, representation of Kaiba. Hey, losers. Get lost stop making fun of me. I have to do without any cards. Neo goes sell every one of my cards. Takashi, like, I don't care if you can't duel. I love you. What are you, like, some kind of dueling fanatic? Like, totally uh, bugging me. Go away. All right, these two suck. Oh, Mai's not here. Roulette poker, slot machines, they're making... Uh, there are many kinds of games I enjoy, but the best of all is duel monsters. I'm going to love my life. Okay, don't expect any mercy, laddie. How to make someone have an accent. Just throw, uh, just throw like, laddie at the end. There you go. Mission achieved. Um, throw the dino down here, and he might throw a, a counter monster at me, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, I can finally try Dark Flare Knight. Let's go for it. So basically, if this card gets destroyed, or goes to the graveyard, I can summon Mirage Knight. I think that's what the game is trying to say. So what happens if I... Well, what's your actual things? If it is in the player's graveyard, it is able to summon a Mirage Knight to the field, or to own field. Alright, so, you know another way to get cards to the graveyard? I could just tribute it. Okay, permanent effect. The the Dark Flare Knight in the graveyard... Hold on, I want to make sure I read it. Uh, summon a Mirage Knight to the own field. Okay. So this is Mirage Knight. I, am, I, ha I do recognize this card. Warrior who at the start of the foe's turn can split into a Dark Magician and a Flame Swordsman. That's kind of wild. At the start of the foe's turn? <laughs> okay. That's pretty sick. I did get this, uh, the tribute in, in there as well. So there's no polymerization in this game, so I can't, like, complete the cycle. Burn effect split into Dark Mission Flame Swordsman. Okay. That's pretty neat. I like that. That's, uh, that's pretty cute. Cute's the wrong word for that. But <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Drops invisible war. No! Flame Swordsman! I'll avenge you. They won't. They'll pay for this. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Just throw all the monsters that I got out now. We got XYZ Dragon Cannon. I'm excited to use this card uh, in like the GX era. Once like it has more, once the v, uh, it has more support, I know that the I don't think V and X are that good. Um, or no, X Y Z is what it is. It's it's V and W. I don't think V and W are that good. Also, Versago without his uh with his ability also kind of sucks. Oh no, I was beaten by a mere child. But unpredictability is one of the reasons the game is so fun. I also like fixing my deck after a loss. All right, man. Sounds like copium. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I'm excited to use this card like when more stuff comes out. Uh, just do this. Just to... Oh, actually, let's do the wombo combo. Hold on. Not because I need help in this game, but I just wanted to try it out. Okay. Nevolent Nuzzler. Uh-oh. 
Ruh -ruh. Um, so I don't have enough monsters anymore. Do it this way, though. The trap is invisible wire. Uh, I give up. Eat this. Should have done it in the first place. I was trying to be cool and, like, sacrifice my monsters, then use Heavy Storm and be like, hoo hoo hoo, look at me. <laughs> I didn't get to. Because of my hubris. It's my, my own fault. Uh, I'll just back him to the dark. Maybe I should fight Tristan a couple more times, too, just to see what he's got. Or, uh, and Duke as well. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. Uh, Alright. We got this again. A lot of fire monsters in this game. Like, a lot of, like, main monsters are fire for some reason. So the thing with Dark Flare that's pretty cool is that I don't really have to worry about him. Like, if things go south with him, it's fine, because if he goes in the graveyard, he actually gets stronger. And then Mirage Knight is only available for one turn, but that's alright. I also like that this is one of the video games where they just appear from thin air. It's not using, like, strict Yu-Gi-Oh rules, so, like, it, it's not like... Uh, well, you have to have Dark Magician and uh, Flame Swordsman in your deck to activate it. Like, well, that's fucking annoying. <clears throat> Oh, I just realized they're all increasing my deck capacity by 10 as well. That's pretty helpful. Look, my deck wise, like, I wonder if you can re rematch them. The time, okay, so it just seemed like they're like a one time thing. So this is just like extra duels. No thanks, I don't duel. But you're duelist. No, I'm not psychic. It's obvious because you're wearing dual discs. Unfortunately, I don't duel. Should go to the next floor. Next floor? I mean, this? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Where is my? I wonder if he's somewhere else now. Oh, okay. The cargo hold. Sick. Uh, I don't really remember where all the exits and entrances are. That's why I like uh, some games that like, give you like arrows or like markers showing the places you can leave and go because like the background is like all pre-rendered and like super like drawn in, so you can't really tell what's what you can interact with. All right, Egypt exhibition. Oh, I've been here already. Okay. Um. I guess Clock Tower Square. Let's uh, start going at it. Hey, that's what you want to fight? Thoughts I need to rest. Okay, well, you haven't done anything, so you shouldn't be. Yes, I accept your challenge. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Power of Kaishin. Nice. I was worried it would be stronger. Okay. Nice. Alright, I don't think they're swinging over Revival Gem, so we should be okay. Well, I stand corrected. I suppose that's on me. Um, hmm. Uh, I'll do this. I was debating if I wanted to, uh, to summon um, a monster there. But... I think I'd wait a turn. This seems like a better chance to do it. Let's do, uh... Should be you. Should be you. We'll play Dark Necrofear. Use its effect. You activate a monster on the foe's field will become will be made into an ally. Oh, okay. So it's just like... You just straight up steal it. Fair. I can see... I can see use cases for that. But... Doesn't really seem worth it for these, like... Kind of like trash duels, so to speak. Just kind of seems like a waste of time, but I do appreciate that it's an option. Okay. Back into the dark. And then, I don't really know what else to do here. So she's parasite, parasite. Just that way we can do more damage. But yeah, it's, I really like that this game has uh, all the cool, like, monsters that were introduced, like, post Battle City. Or like tail end of Battle City, because I feel like most of the Yu-Gi-Oh games I played didn't. Also, Toadmaster is a pretty good get. I might add that in later. This guy's giving me the tutorial. Thanks. I'm like 13 hours in. Uh, all right. He's like, watch out for my strong cards, and I just hit him with a 2,000 point attack monster. He's like, Wh what? No. Uh, Toadmaster with no sacrifices. There's no reason to. Alright. 
slowly make my way through. Ooh, blue eyes. Uh, not really necessary, though. I think I might just win this one just with beat sticks. Good old beat down. Just who has the stronger un unaffiliated monsters. And this time it's me. Okay. I wonder if, uh, when does Gene Warped Wolf get added? I feel like it was during the GX era, but I'm not sure. It might have been during the 5Ds era. Flame Ghost. Oh, boy. It's supposed to be this. You're not supposed to be strong. Sorry. These are definitely worth doing because uh, the incre uh, the deck capacity increase is huge. God, can you sit still? Okay, I'm not going to lose. All right, but if you do, you know, just like maybe like prepare for that eventuality instead. Just like a just like a tip, just like a pro tip. Mountain, huh? Interesting. That could change things up a bit. Not in the way I would like. Um, just use this. Not dealing with shenanigans. This is the <laughs> this is the kind of like turn that happens to me that I like that would like terrify me. They have a full field. I only had one monster. I put it out and they immediately killed it. And I'd be like, all right, well, we had a fun duel. We had a really good time. I think all of us equally had a great time. And, uh, you know, just moving on. <laughs> Alright. That was an easy one. Niwatori. I lost after all. I can't duel you. I'm not good enough to compete against you. Sure thing. Okay, I tried to challenge this dude multiple times. To the point where I was like, did I accidentally challenge him already? And that's why he's an answer? Uh, okay. Wasteland. I don't think so. Um, all right. Parasite, parasite's effect. Let's attack there. I don't really know what else to do. I have cards that can like get me out of a jam, but I need more monster material. That'll help. Uh, just back into the dark, I guess. I'm gonna try and summon Raw again, but it's not really gonna be necessary. I'm not thrilled with the. Uh, I almost said Digimon. I'm not thrilled with the monsters I have out right now because they're only 1600 attack, but it's fine. <clears throat> there we go. Now that's what I needed. So I think you can use Frog the Jam immediately. And I think you can do the same thing with Buku. Oh, but I already played a card, idiot. Okay. Idiot. I thought I found, like, some secret workaround. No. Moron. The game very much knew what I could do there. Alright. Yep. Direct attack. Ooh. It's actually not a bad hit. But it will be your last. Seeing Whiptail Crow not affected by, uh, the flying, like, or the, the mountain bonus is kind of weird. Pretty sure it's a winged beast, not a fiend, but if it is a fiend, it still feels like something that should be powered up by mountain. Yeah, dueling sure is fun. Challenge me to a duel? Okay, sure, I'll take you on. I think at the end of this, I might challenge the duel computer at like its hardest difficulty, but I'm gonna edit my deck in between, just to like, just to see what I can do. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything else. Uh oh. Field transformed to a forest. Oh, that's transibility, huh? I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I wonder if I'd use Jin's. Well, Jin's ability only works on trap cards, so I don't think it would have destroyed the field spell. There also is no field zone here. I kind of feel like the, uh. The monsters just, like. Or the, the the field quite literally changes, like just consider it a different mechanic. Oof, so close. Alright. Yeah. I thought something might happen to one of my monsters. That's okay. That's okay. We prepare for this. Well, this is certainly building my confidence up. Beast fangs? Yeah. Guess I'm just not concentrating today. 
Really, uh, real hero doesn't run from a fight. That's why I'm gonna stay in duel, because that's what Zumbr Zumpire would do. You mean Zombria? Stop it. He's your fucking idol. Get his name right. He also has not appeared once, which is kind of annoying. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh my god, Zombria on fucking Meadow? Ew. Ugh. That's so mean. Alright. I'm gonna steal it, though. Okay. I think I'll be okay. Uh, my instinct says to go for a revival gem, but... I'm gonna go Harpy's brother instead. You might just sacrifice a monster here. Yep. Oof. Tried to be cheeky. That was my own downfall. Okay. Oh, actually, here we go. Uh, no, I'll save him. We'll do. Nope. Hold on. I take it back. We'll do heavy storm. So yeah, heavy storm doesn't affect the field, which is crazy. Because it definitely would in a normal game. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm probably gonna win now. No, you have the Komori Dragon, okay. I wonder how much uh, Mirage Knight was powered up to. I also don't know what Mirage Knight's like stats are. Like, I don't know what its uh, what its abilities are. Also, you can just like force it onto the field by just tributing, even if you have nothing to summon. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's that easy. All right, he's a dreams type. I feel like all the like super power or the super boss monsters are dreams types. Big fans of uh, the Dreams PS4 game, making their own games and whatnot. Okay, I'm starting to see how Dark Flare Knight could be pretty strong. I'm starting to starting to put it together. Guess I'm gonna be a tree here. No, I have to push those negative thoughts on my head. No, you're not gonna be a hero. Sorry. Too worried about Mr. Kaiba to duel. What? Not going to lose. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, all right. Uh, that should be okay. Yeah. Hey, I was right. <laughs> uh, I could do the wombo combo here. I just don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Heavy storm. I should try and find another heavy storm or find like Grigeki. I totally forgot how powerful this combo was after using it in sacred cards constantly. I feel like I had the pieces to make it for a while, too. Like, I had Heavy Storm for a while. I just didn't really use it. Oh, M Warrior has an ability now? What the fuck? M Warrior is one of those cards where I really like both 1 and 2's design, but then I'm just like, there's just never... Why would I ever add them to my deck? They have, like, a thousand attack points, and they have nothing... No abilities. Like, why would I... Why would I do that? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's get the big boy out. Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Oh, he has like a cry too. That's funny. Yeah, I feel like Slifer is really fucking busted in this. He gets like the highest attack power for sure. So well, even though I lost, hey, that's the important part. Master Moko was abducted. Last thing I knew was that he went to tell Master Seto. New Eagles have been driven out of town. Domino. Veiled security guard. You must save Master Moko. Please help Master Seto rescue him. Roland being just like a real dude in this game is very weird. He's like, I'm sorry. I failed my duties. Please. I must ask you to assist me with this. Like, what? Who are you? All right. Up. 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 We'll do uh we'll try an expert one. Actually, let's do standard first, and then we'll do an expert one. Just so that when I get stomped by expert, I can like ha retain a victory in my head. Ukazi, okay. Soul of the Pure, okay. That's annoying. Sure wish you wouldn't. So in the main game, our uh, I should say, the vanilla game, unmodded. Are life point restoration cards like super broken? 
like soul of the pure like they just used are those like huge i was thinking about it i think there is a version of this mod where all they do is remove like the check in the field i think there might be one i think there's three versions there might only be two though there's the one i'm playing which is the recommended one then there's one where it doesn't check the field like the the weird like thing i showed in part one where it just like stalls the game basically it doesn't do that anymore, but it kept keeps everything else. So like deck cost, duelist level, um, all of the, uh, and then the uh, the life point thing. I think there's another one where it's just like it's the same, but they just don't. Oh, Sun Engine. Um, it's the same as this one, but they don't restore life points after each battle. Those one, if if I can find one of those, that might be fun to play if I ever like come back to this game. Yeah, let's try it. Like how it asked me, where I was like, are you sure? Okay, not a great start, because I don't think Bear Trap is going to do anything here, but I'll certainly give it a whirl. Final Destiny, huh? Fucking yikes. Oh, I just realized Raw is unaffected by Final Destiny. That's pretty cool. I guess Divine cards are uh, immune to spelling traps. Yep, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. It's Mirror Force. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I'd like Mirror Force. Oh, Flash Assailant is another 2,000 attack point monster. Oh, you're so fucked. You don't even know. Drew the one card that I needed. Okay. Widespread Ruin will come in handy. Basically trying to get three monsters now so I can summon Ra. Okay. I am worried about that spell card, but... I just have to attack through it. Waiting is going to solve anything. Actually, what is your ability? Is it monster or any card? No, it's a monster. Okay. I'll go for it. Yeah. Monster's powered down. Oh, it sucks. Crush card. All monsters in the foe's field that attack higher than 1500 or 1500 or higher will be destroyed. Dude, can you relax? That's fine. Oh yeah, Gemini Elf too. I forgot about them. I mean, I'm slowly hitting them. Okay. That's actually huge. I think I want to place that. I don't think Back in the Dark works like a trap card, but... Would be neat if it did. Okay. That was to be expected. I think I win, though. Yeah! Wow, that was, uh... The, I think Final Destiny actually worked better for me. About 10,000 Domino. Pot of Greed, which is, I guess, not banned in this. Up to two cards, maybe drawn if there is room in the hand. Okay. Complete a your Nukes Duel Challenge. Well, I appreciate it. I got pretty lucky there, and I'm not going to try and test it further. But it definitely feels like my deck is on the right track. <clears throat> it's If that's supposed to be what an expert deck looks like, my deck is pretty close. So, feeling better about myself. Let's go check on Bones. Actually, the old people want to duel. Oh my god. I'm on a date with my men. My heart is pounding like a jackhammer. Alright, Bones has not returned. I wonder if any of these guys have returned. Because Mai wasn't there either. Maybe I got false info. I, don't, I think Weevil was in China, but... I don't know. Weevil was in the forest, then he went to China. But he he went to China solely that, so that we would have to report or uh, recruit him here. Uh, they did say more duelists in Canada, so let's try this out. And I'll get in trouble if you talk too much. Sorry, next time. Nah, I'm focusing my work. I don't duel at all. Duel, eh? Well, all right. <laughs> I mean, I change your face. Different strokes. Boom. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now, right, the field is wasteland. That's a lot of cards to play in one turn. I feel like that card's gonna be kind of busted, whatever he put down. But I have Zombri of the Dark. Oh no, nope, I was gonna say I'll be fine. I'm wrong. I was wrong. Okay. I need a stronger monster. Um. That might actually work here. Not for that card. That card's kind of fucked. If I, like, rewound a turn, I could probably 
get that to work, but that's fine. I might be able to lure him into attacking, and then he's dead. Okay, well that also would be very, would be very bad for me. So that's not good. <laughs> Shit. What are you, an earth type? What the fuck beats earth again? Wind? I don't remember the order. I think... I think wind beats earth. So this should still work. Yes, okay. Yep, that's fine. I'd rather just use one up. Rabby. Another classic duel monster. Uh, what if I did this, you son of a bitch? Hell yeah. So now I want to watch and see how this works with the Mammoth Graveyard. So it does activate again. And then he goes in defense mode, okay. What if I... I'm going to keep Harpy's Lady. Or Harpy's... Harpy's Lady. I'm going to keep Harpy's Lady out on the field. So let's see what happens here. It did get weakened. I think it went back to its normal... Or, or, no, it didn't. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it didn't trigger that time. Huh. It's weird. Okay. Let's just do this. Cool. Neato. I feel really strong now. Can't believe uh, we're getting rid of the cute statues. That's what they're called, right? The Moe statues? Moe? Moe means cute in Japanese, so they must be the cute statues. I don't think they're that cute, but... I don't know who that joke is for. Someone who knows that Moe means cute in Japanese and also is aware of the Maui statues? I don't... I don't know who that's for. <laughs> Remnants of living creatures to the stone that makes fossils sound creepy. Yeah, come to think of it, I've been having these eerie feelings lately. Also, the remains of... Thank you, I hit R1, not X. So you should be telling me you can't duel, not giving me dinosaur facts. Not even dinosaur facts, fossil facts. I have Eddie for... or uh, Andy for that. I don't need you. Yeah, all the named duelists are just vanished. I think we tried here already and there was nobody here. Alright, well, that's the... That's the detour done. I guess we'll go back to we'll go back to Domino. I'll fight uh, Duke and uh, Tristan again. See what uh, see what cards they've uncovered. See what my uh, my deck cost is looking like. What did I get from the dueling computer? I don't even remember anymore. It wasn't a good card, I don't think. It wasn't as good as I was hoping for, at least. Oh my god. <laughs> Brutal. I'll just eat that, I guess. It's Tristan. He's not going to win. I just feel stupid. <laughs> just like... Just whacked myself into it. Ugh. I love that I have all these effect monsters. I'm not even using their effects. I'm just attacking with them normally. Because Tristan's that weak. Alright. I mean, I might as well try and go for Slifer at this point. It just makes sense. But, it is going to take a, a bit longer. Okay. That'll work. That'll play. Oh. I can't believe I smashed myself into... Tristan, I feel stupid. <laughs> Sorry, Tristan. That felt rude, but it needed to be done. Breath of Light. Yeah, okay, I think I already have that one. Uh, okay, thank you. Please stop talking to me. Thank you. I get it. Okay. So Duke is supposed to be more challenging, giving similar rewards, so we'll see how that comes out. Oh, that's right, he uses like Gradius and stuff in the, the anime. Interesting. Interesting. But can he deal with a fire squid? 
I think not. Oh, Regeki! Ah, That feels rude. That feels very rude. Regeki? In front of Grandpa Moto's card shop? You're gonna mess up the sidewalk. Oh my god, you actually use silent laser effectively? Excuse me? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who am I fighting right now? Oh, great. That's not what Machine Conversion Factory does. Oh my god, I cannot believe he just got away with this. I think that is how those cards are supposed to be played, too. Is that you just keep powering them up. So, I, Dreams. I think Fiend beats Dreams. Yes, okay. Fuck you! But then Light beats Fiend, so I'm about to beat. Yeah, that's fine. We took out the big guy, though. Oh, there's another one. Great. I would like another monster, please. Thank you. That'll work. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So much for powering up, you stupid hourglass. Enough of your games. I am about to be beaten, though, because it's a dreams type, so it's going to destroy me with graveyard. Spellbinding circle. Okay. And fiend's hand? What are you doing? What a waste. Oh, I need a monster. I need one so bad. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. I'm I'm bricking here. Game, please. I'm begging you. Uh We'll go together. Great. Okay. Hey game. Just just a, a monster, please. That'll work. Thank you. Don't Okay. Don't have a trap card, is what I'm gonna say. Okay. May have a trap card now, which is not great, but I have a guy for that. Oh. The effect didn't work? What do you mean? You can destroy all trap cards in the opponent's field. Do they have to be face up? Or is that the game's way of saying they're not trap cards, don't worry about it? He's bluffing. Wow, that got a little closer than I would have liked. That can fuck right off. Back into the darkness, though. That is absolutely worth it. I don't know why this spell uh, is 15, because it's a free destroy one monster. Uh, it's kind of awesome, so... I don't know why that spell is so is so weak. It, it absolutely shouldn't be. Uh, one more, Tristan. I've heard you have good cards. I would like it if you would show me one of them, please. That would be really cool. Be, be, be a big fan if you did that. Yep. Yep, that tracks. Uh, fuck it. I mean, not fuck it, I would have done this anyway. I actually like it. I was being reckless, but I was doing exactly what I would have done no matter what, so... Really, I was just being a big faker. Okay. Also, I don't know why I was worried about... I, I think that was a different duel. I was like, why was I worried about Tristan using uh, trap cards? I'm like, that was Duke. I don't, I'm not actually worried about Tristan. <laughs> hey, nice. Well played, Nick. Well played. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Alright, what do you got? Warrior Elimination. Worthless. Alright. Grandpa Moto, what are, we, what are we packing here? What do we got for new cards? Let's go by cost. Show me, show me your rarest. I said cost, not price. Uh, I guess the ritual cards are kind of jank. Oh, wait, hold on. How does F work in this game? Does it just generate the cards on its own? Board uh, that adds a letter at the start of own turn. Victory is automatic if the if the final message is complete. Yeah, I don't think the other cards are in this game, so Destiny Board just works on its own, which is crazy. This costs 500, because of course it does. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, Shadow Spell is 300, which I guess, yeah, it's a pretty powerful card. This is 250. Megamorph is only 100, though. I, I don't know what Megamorph actually does in this game, though. Gigantically transform monster in the field. It shows monsters made much more powerful. That's not 
That's not a Yu-Gi-Oh description. I need like exact numbers. <laughs> I don't want to gamble on a card. Although I guess that's also part of the game, right? Um, yeah, I, um, uh, I don't think they've had anything, in anything interesting. That is a bummer. It's cost 35, but it's very expensive for some reason. And Relinquished costs 500 as well. This costs 75, yeah. Yeah. Uh, defensive monsters are still the way to go. Or, uh, not defensive, sorry. Uh, like... Uh, duplicating monsters like Toadmaster and stuff, but met with different levels of effectiveness. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I can do. I, I mean, I can keep checking the trap card or smelling trap cards. Crush card's not bad at this point in the game. Uh, destroys all enemy monsters with a uh, 1500 attack or more. That's not like that bad at this point in the game. What's Dying Keto do? 5,000 life points? Good lord, Diane Keto. Oh, you know what? It just occurred to me. I, I mentioned earlier that why uh, that it's weird. Oh, I was wrong about Machine Conversion Factory. I was thinking of uh, the different card. But um, I was like, why are all the direct damage cards like nerfed? And I'm like, oh, right, because life points don't restore after battle. <laughs> that, that's, that makes total sense. Of course not. Um, Alright. I think I want Crush card. Check for more spells. Oh, Amazon's Archer is pretty good. Because it, uh, uh, it's really cheap and it's almost like a better version of Bear Trap at this point because it just weakens them. Which, but it also negates an attack. Yeah, all the warrior relation, or all the, like, monster elimination cards are super cheap. Although, so is Beck in the Dark, and I should absolutely have had three of those. Uh, oh, Curse Breaker. I haven't seen this card in forever. What are you doing in this game? Uh, negates any level reducing spell used in this player's monsters. It restores the levels of the player's monster in the field. Okay, so that's not a magic card. That's how trap cards work. So, someone made a mistake. Oh, shit. This card is in this game? Made with the Eyes of Blue. I didn't think this card existed yet. She can call on a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> that's kind of. That's kind of fucking crazy. Alright, yeah. Let's go for it. 10 card, or it costs 10. Her cost is really high, but it basically means that you get a free blue eyes, is what it sounds like. That's fucking nuts! I'm glad I scrolled this far down. Uh, price. And also, the, the cost sorting is completely busted. It does the same thing as, as price, I feel like. Um, uh, okay. Let's go by attack this time. Let's see if I miss anything. They did add Crimson Sunburn, which is a one... Crimson Sunbird, not Burn. Which is a one sacrifice monster. That's 2300, so that's not too bad. Um... I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else here. Plus, I've gotten a couple cards here and there, too. Let's see. Quantity. Actually, before I do this, let me go to the deck. I am pretty okay with where the deck is at right now, but you can always make improvements. Can we get rid of Beast King of the Swamp? It's uh, it's nuke effect isn't bad, but I think we're done with it. Uh, deck cost, I have 200 deck costs essentially that I can play around with. I think I might get rid of... Um, man, I'm actually having a tough time making choices now. I think it might be time for, to get rid of Meteor B Dragon. I think I have enough sacrifice monsters. I do like Meteor B Dragon because he do be dragoning, but we're probably done with him. Um, <clears throat> I'll keep Blue Eyes for now. 3,000 attack point, two, two sacrifice monsters, not too bad. Um, hmm. I think I'll get rid of Mystic Clown as well. And maybe even Fire Kraken. Yes, yeah, so and I have 400 to, to mess around with and four cards to add. Alright, let's see. Could add another widespread rune. I definitely should add back in the dark. And I think what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm gonna get rid of bear trap, which costs the same. So that can I can now add one back in the dark. But I think I'm also gonna get rid of 
Dark Piercing Light, which is a zero cost card, but since Back in the Dark is only 15, I don't think I'm really breaking the bank here. Move to deck, move to deck. Okay. Now I have roughly three, or I have 390. Toadmaster could be good to add in. 50 cost, but it does produce a monster. Amazon's Archers, 70 cost. That's actually not as nice as I would have liked it. Oh, I have another Nuvia the Wicked. Really, what the fuck did I get this? Uh, 100 to add that in. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Let's see here. Oh, I started by quantity, right? Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of just scrolling through, seeing what cards I have. What uh, what I might have overlooked, or what I might have like lost between videos. Um, I think these are largely about what I expected. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with the deck for the most part too. I'm just tweaking it here. Crush card, hundred cost, but it is basically Regeki. Um, what do we have left four? I'll add Crush Card in, I think. And then, maybe with the eyes of blue, I definitely want to add in. Even at how I don't care how much it costs, because I really want to try that out. That seems busted. <laughs> Pot of Greed is one fifty. Draw two more cards. Now that would be very, very helpful. I know that Pot of Greed is very helpful. Drawing two cards in Yu-Gi-Oh is crazy, especially in this format. It gives you a lot more to work with, but I'm going to leave it out for now. All right, we got two left. What the fuck did I do? Hold on. Yeah, we got two left. And 140 capacity. So I could add both the Amazon as archers and call it a day. But I don't know if I want to do that. I think I want more monsters. Could add Nuvia the Wicked. Could add Toadmaster. I could add both of these, I guess. So then I got four. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be just short. Yeah, I'm ten too short. Um, Let's do this. I'll add um, Toadmaster and then I'll add just a bear trap. But then I'll uh, I'll just duel uh, Tristan twice. And then we'll add uh, Toadmaster instead of the bear trap. Just to, just to finalize it out, ten is pretty close. I'm pretty okay with... Uh, I'm pretty okay with 10. Yep, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yep. Let's build out the army here. Back in the dark. I think I might be close to kind of tweaking my deck for the last time. Actually, no. If I get more 2,000 attack point monsters, I might try and make room for those, because those are pretty good. Especially since I think most of mine are, uh, I don't want to do that, hold on. Especially since I think most of mine are powered up by Yami Fields, and they all fucking use Yami Fields. I don't think that was really worth it. That could be worth it later, but... Not against someone of Tristan's level. Just because it costs a turn to do it. But yeah, I'm surprised with how uh, how in depth some of these effects are. Like they they go for a while. All right, that's my five stainstorm. That's all machines. No, thank you. Oh my god, please. All right, one more Tristan. Duke is the one who gave me back to the dark, so maybe I should be dueling Duke. But I feel like Tristan has better cards. He's just not giving them to me. He's holding out on me. Also, I guess, you know, maybe I am kind of running the risk here. If I add too many of the duplication cards in my deck and I don't have enough things to use them on, I do run the, the risk of just only drawing the duplication monsters and then basically just stalling. And I guess stalling's not that bad, though. If you just stall, I mean, you'll get better cards eventually, and then you'll still have cards in the field, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I think I win this turn? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Eternal Rest. Another goddamn destruction card. Stop it. 
Did I end up adding um crush card? Yes, okay. Oh, did I just get rid of Toadmaster? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, another widespread rune would be pretty good too. Uh, I don't know what to do anymore. You know what? I know I fought that duel for Toadmaster, but I think we're gonna. Oh, but I have to. I I literally removed two cards here. Um. No, I'll add it back, and then I'll add the other one. We'll leave it at that. I was thinking like I might make room for a widespread ruin instead, but we'll we might have enough time to do that after we just duel. So uh, I think I'll wait and do that. Okay, I think I'm just about ready. I'm gonna go fight the expert machine. And then, uh, probably end the video, because 50 minutes have gone by by accident. I did need to do that, though. I did need to re-challenge everyone, because that, uh, that deck capacity increase was huge. Uh, here we go, expert. Yep, that's me. Oh, okay. Uh, rough start, but workable. Toadmaster would be kind of worthless here, because if I summon it, They'll just destroy one of them, and then I won't be able to summon Dark, summon dark Necrofear, so it'll be like a wasted turn. I'd rather uh, send Zumbria out, or Dark uh, dark Elf. We'll do Dark Elf. Yeah. Now I have a better chance of it living. Um, I'm going to try and test for traps first. No, because I can't defend with Dark Elf, because there's no defense. Okay, that's fine. I actually did exactly what I wanted to... Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Inexperienced Spy. Okay. Yep. That kind of backfired. Ugh. Did that backfire. I mean, I'm glad I triggered their Amazon as archers. Oh, that'll work. Hell yeah. Okay. That's so wild. <laughs> that you could just activate Crush Card. No requirements. If I remember correctly, the original crush card makes you... First of all, it's a trap. Second of all, I think you have to sacrifice one of your monsters to activate it. Reflect Bounder. Ugh! Sacrifice itself to do 2,000 direct damage. Brutal. That was bold of them. I think I win, though. That was very, like... If I had making that, made that duel take any longer, I could have easily lost. Oh, it was so worth it! Yes! Mirror Force, hell yeah. Mission complete. Alright. I gotta make room for Mirror Force. That's like an essential. So I gotta get rid of some good cards to get Mirror Force, unfortunately. Actually, Spellbinding Circle might have... How much did that do? A lot. Spellbinding Circle might have overstayed its wake. welcome here. Um, what else is super high cost in my deck? Let's just do it this way, I guess. Sombrea costs the most. That makes sense. Actually, I don't think this does make sense. I think some of the spell cards cost more. Yeah, it like doesn't track this properly. Like Maiden with the Eyes of Blue, it counts as like very little cost, despite it costing one fifty. <laughs> like also negate attack costing zero is crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't have the room for it yet. I get rid of like a, a mid-range card, I guess. I get rid of Reflect Bounder. 85. Would that do 200? I can't math. Yes, I need 15 more, basically. Oh, then let's get rid of one of the Beck in the Darks. We can do that, actually. Math is power. Yeah. So now I'll add back in Mirror Force, then I'll add back in like Reverse Trap or something. Let's see if this works. Cost. Yeah, that's not right. Senegen is not the most costly card. Oh, do they treat him as a ritual in this game originally? That might be it. Um, there we go. Moves the deck, and then... Way, way, way down. Let's find a, a nothing card. Alright, yeah, that's fine. All right, the true final deck now. Mirror Force sounds really cool. I feel I think Mirror Force is going to come in a lot of handy. 
That's uh, that's huge. That's a big get. That's right up there with like Regeki. All right, I'm gonna save, and uh, that's gonna be into part thirteen. Uh, not we we basically almost like <laughs> almost like on purpose. We're just like ignoring Joey and just leaving. It was just nice to have the part where it's just me and Yugi. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for part fourteen where you go back to the uh, the main plot. All right, thank you guys. Bye bye.